Good afternoon, Friendship United Methodist Church family. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, welcome to our Bible study. We thank God for those of you who are joining us this day. Praise God. Come on, let's give God some hallelujah praise. Amen. Come on, put those hands together. Hallelujah. Glory. He's worthy to be praised. Still here, still breathing. Praise God, still walking. He is an awesome God. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. Let us go to the throne. Let us pray. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, God, for waking us up this morning. Thank you for the rising of the sun. Thank you, Father God, for bringing us through this day. Thank you, Father God, for watching over us. Thank you, Lord, for being our strength. Oh, Master, we thank you, God, for all that you have done throughout this day. Now, God, we have come to hear the word, oh, God, what thus says the word. We pray, God, that you will open our hearts and our minds and let us hear what thus says the Lord. Oh, you are the omnipresent God. You are the omnipotent God. You are the omniscient God. God, we love you because you first love us. Now, God, we pray that this teaching, O oh Lord, will bless many of us. We pray, God, that it will transform lives and change hearts, O oh God. Renew minds in the mighty, awesome name of Jesus the Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Let somebody say hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Saints of God, for the past few weeks, we have been preaching, teaching from the theme, love is the greatest gift. And praise God for the past few weeks, I've been teaching on the description of love. The description of love, praise God. And all this is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And saints of God, I, I challenge you last week to, to, to read uh, 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 1 Corinthians chapter 13 for seven days, which started last Thursday. Tonight will be the last teaching on uh, the series. And saints of God, don't stop reading 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It will change your heart. I promise you, it will bless your life. Amen. That's why Paul tells us love is the greatest gift. Amen. How many of you love everyone? Praise God. I'm so glad I have a heart to love everybody, saints of God. I love everyone, all of God's people. And there is nothing you can do about it. Hello, somebody. <laughs> For the past few weeks, we have learned so much about love. We have gained so much wisdom and knowledge and understanding uh, in regards to God's love towards us and love towards God and our love towards our neighbor. We have learned so much, saints of God. Uh, this afternoon, we will certainly continue with the teaching, the description of love. Amen. Praise God. And the description of love, saints of God, it, it teaches us uh, how to live in expectation. It te they teaches us how to love like Christ. It teaches us how to be uh, followers of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Now, if you will, allow me to just read for your hearing. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and I'm just going to read verses 4 through 6, and this is just a summary of what we have gone over, and then we will begin the teaching with verse 7. Amen. Verse 4, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, I pray you have your Bibles nearby, praise God. Never leave home. Have that Bible in every room, saints of God, praise God. We need the Word. The Word is our, our sword, amen, praise God. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, if you will, I will begin reading at the fourth verse. Hear this. Give you just a few moments to find it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. I am excited about love. 
Saints of God, I am so excited about love. I love God. I love Jesus. I love the Holy Spirit. I love you. And I, some of you haven't even met you yet. I love you. Hallelujah. Verse 4. Yeah. Yeah. Hear what it says. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Love is not puffed up. Love does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked. Thanks no evil. Thanks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity. But rejoices in the truth. Amen somebody. Praise God. Saints of God. I pray to God that you, you are not only listening. But I pray that you are hearing God's word. Listen, we listen through our mind, but we hear within our hearts. I pray to God that you are receiving the word. We will begin the teaching tonight at verse 7. Hear what it says. Verse 7. Love bears all things. Love bears all things. Hallelujah, somebody. The word for bear also means uh, could be translated covers amen either way paul brings an important truth along with first peter chapter 4 verse 8 and it tells us and above all things have fervent love for one another let me read that again have fervent prayer have fervent love for one another. For love will cover a multitude of sin. And saints of God, this is so true. Love will cover a multitude of sin. God is love. Jesus is love. God forgave our sins. Jesus died for our sins. Hallelujah, somebody. Listen, God puts up with us. Amen? Hallelujah. Now, saints of God, now this doesn't mean to, it doesn't give us the permission to go out and sin, uh, uh, should I say, knowingly. Amen? You just don't go out and sin because you know God will forgive your sins. Yes, he will. But what it does mean is that Jesus died to take away the sins of the whole world, the universal sin. Even our personal sins, let us not put God through the test. Just because he is faithful and just to forgive our sins, let us not use God to glorify our personal sins. Amen. And you know, some people, some people do this. They, 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 they know that they are about to sin. And some of them even ask God for forgiveness before they even sin. Well, listen, you're not perfect people. You're not perfect. Yes, you will make some mistakes. But saints of God, we must learn from our mistakes and, and continue to, to try to, to do the right thing. Amen? Next. Love believes all things. Love believes all things. Love believes the things of God. Love believes the, the truth. Now hear this. Christians supposed to tell the truth at all times. Believers, we are called to tell the truth at all times. God is true to us, and we must be true to him. We also must be true to our neighbors in spite of how they treat us. Amen? First John chapter 4, verse 20 tells us, if someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. Hello. Now, saints of God, I'm not calling you a liar, but it's in the word. God is speaking to Paul and Paul is speaking to us. Hello, somebody. God says it. If you don't love your neighbor, you are a liar. There is no truth in you. In other words, God can't listen to you. If you hate your neighbor, saints of God, you have nothing in common with God. Ooh, hallelujah, somebody. Christians supposed to love everyone in spite of. 
I'm so glad that I have a loving heart, saints of God. Now, I haven't always been this way. It took 30 years. But thank God I'm where I am now. I can love my worst enemy. Amen? Have you ever met a pathological liar? A compulsive liar? You know, saints of God, a, a compulsive liar has a mental disorder. I did some research on this a while back, and they're good people. They're Christian. They're saved and sanctified, but there is a part of their mind that they get joy out of lying. Amen? But listen, that can be broken. Praise God. God can, God can fix it, and only God can, through his son, Jesus Christ. Some folks just enjoy lying. They get pleasure out of lying. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. They are so good at what they do. They sound so convincing. Believers, we know the truth. And the truth will set us free. The truth will make us free. Amen, somebody. God has given all of us the gift of discernment. Believers, you know when someone is not telling the truth. God has equipped you. You're around your co-workers, your family members and friends. God will tell you when they're lying. Hello, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Next, we have love hopes all things. Love hopes all things. Love has confidence in the future. <laughs> Praise God. When hurt, it does not say it will be this way forever. No, 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 no sense. Love hopes for the best. And it hopes in God. Believers, always hope for the best for your neighbors. Hello, somebody. Hope for the best for your enemies and God will give you his very best. Saints of God, you have really got to get in this word to understand how to get your blessing from God. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Believers always encourage God's people and he will keep you in courage. That's a promise. That is a promise, saints of God. Listen, don't put folks down. Don't talk about folks. Don't gossip about people. I don't care if he, she is a drug addict. I don't care if he, she has lost their direction. Encourage them. You are a minister in your own way. Praise God. Stop putting people down. Stop gossiping about folks. That's not love. We are supposed to, 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 to pray and wish them the best. Amen, somebody. I love to see folks being blessed. Listen, there were times I put myself on the back burner to bless other folks. Oh, glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Mm. My God, my God. Next we have love endures all things. Love endures all things. Most of us can bear all things and believe all things and hope all things, but only for a while. Amen? The greatest of agape love is it keeps on bearing, believing, and hoping. It doesn't give up. It destroys enemies by turning them into friends. <laughs> How many times have you had someone on your job that you know didn't care much for you? But you, you, you try to love them. They're always nagging and trying to uh, 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 belittle you. But then you did something and you befriend them. And now you are the best of friends. See, that's what love will do, saints. Love will make your enemies your best friend. Can I get a witness, somebody? Hear this. If your enemies are angry with you, just be steadfast, unmovable. Don't let them uh, 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 conquer you by driving you into a bad temper. No, 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 saints of God. Stand fast in love. Endure not some things, but all things. Whatever that enemy throws at you, endure it, saints of God. Be like Jesus. 
He will fix it for you. Listen, vengeance, vengeance does not belong to us. Vengeance is God. Sometimes when you try to fight your own battle, you lose. Oh, glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Saints of God, I feel mighty good. And let, let me share this with you, saints of God. Hear this. Here's a question for you. How many of you have had an encounter with a, a neighbor, an enemy? You got angry. I mean, angry. And you begin to, to use those curse words. Hello, Christians. <laughs> you begin to curse and, and all kinds of words came out of your mouth. Listen. That's not you. If you ain't cussing. You know, I said to my former church, I told my former church, there's a difference between cursing versus cussing. See, when you curse, you use those three small words. But when you start cussing, you throw everything down, man, and you begin to use some words that God don't even know. Come on, somebody. Listen, it's not about that. You have got to control yourself through the Holy Spirit. Amen, somebody. Glory, hallelujah. I can't tell you when last I got upset. I don't even know, saints of God. I was a teenager. I don't let nothing upset me anymore. Even though the enemy will come at me, praise God, they, 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 they gossip about me. But listen, I am cool, calm, and collective for Jesus. I'm not going to let the devil move me in the right direction, in the wrong direction. Praise God. Finally, we have come to the end. Love never fails. Love never fails. Listen, saints. Love never fails. My God, my God. Husbands and wives. Let me share this with you. Yes, you may have some, some differences, some division, some separation. If you love each other, love will never fail. You've got to trust Jesus in your marriage. I don't care what one has done, saints of God. It doesn't stop there. Let me help somebody out here. It doesn't stop there. Love never fails. You've got to, listen, you've got to commune and talk to God and talk to Jesus and talk to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fix this marriage for me before you depart, before you divorce. That's what you got to do, saints. You and I know there is a high uh, number, not, the rate is very high uh, uh, for divorce. You all will agree with me. But it doesn't have to be this way. If you would only search your heart, Wife, let's sit down and talk. Husband, let's sit down. It may take you a few weeks or a few months, but you can talk it out. There is nothing too hard for God. I don't care if, if one, one has committed adultery. Listen, it doesn't matter. We're not perfect people. Oh, I believe I'm getting through to somebody now. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, God. Love never fails. Paul addresses the overemphasis the Corinthian Christians had on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. He shows uh, they should emphasize love more than gifts. Amen? Because the gifts, listen, the gifts are temporary. The gifts are temporary, but love is forever. The Bible tells us love never fails Love never fails. It never ends. In other words, the gifts of the Holy Spirit are appropriate for the present time. But they are not permanent. They are imperfect gifts for an imperfect time. Verse 8. Hear this. Praise God. Let me just read verse 8 for you. Hear this. Follow me, saints of God. Follow me. Here it is. Follow me. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. Love never fails. But where there is, where there are prophecies, they will fail. Listen, prophecy will fail. 
Prophecy will fail. Someone can someone can 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 speak to you or uh, uh, prophesy a word to you, saints of God. But guess what? It will come to pass, but it will fail. They will fail, whether they are a tongue, speaking in tongues, the gift of speaking in tongues will fail. Hello, somebody. I'm going somewhere with this, praise God. They will cease, whether there is knowledge. Oh, God. It will vanish away. But what Paul is seeing here is that love will never stop. There is no end to love. Love will never fail. Hallelujah, somebody. God is the beginning of love. Matter of fact, God is Alpha. He is Omega. He is the first and he is the last. He is the beginning. And he is the end. Saints of God, you have got to start loving everybody. You've got to start speaking to folks in spite of how they treat you. God doesn't bless you by the way you treat, by the way folks treat you. He blesses you by the way you treat others. Hello, somebody. And saints of God, I recommend to you, continue reading. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Read it, read it until it changes your heart. Saints of God, I'm serious about this. You have got to read this passage over and over. God is going to speak to your heart while you are sleeping. When you wake up, God is going to tell you something to do for someone. Uh, uh, he may tell you to apologize to a co-worker, apologize to a family member, your husband, your wife, your grands, or whom, whomever. You've got to read this word. It will change your heart. It will transform your life. It will encourage you to be like Christ. It will adjust your attitude. It will adjust your attitude. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Not only that, it will defeat malice towards your neighbor. Jesus Christ. It could and will heal your body. Love will heal your body, saints of God. Love can tell cancer, go back where you came from. Glory, hallelujah. I believe I'm getting through to someone tonight. Not only that, it will certainly bless your life going in and going out. It will bless your life going in and coming out. Pardon me, we got it right now. Praise God, saints of God. I promise you. Love makes the difference. Love covers a multitude of sin. Hear me now. Love covers a multitude of sin. Read first, uh, first Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Listen, if you can love, God can do some great things in your life. Hello, somebody. Saints of God, I pray to God that you have received this word today. I pray it has truly uh, renewed.